Covert hang on. Yes. <laughs> Trying to overcome a bit of a loose condition. Well, we asked Rick Crawford as he comes here to start his. Oh, big crash. It's coming off the wall and into Crawford was Jim Engelbright. And it just cleaned the whole right side off Rick Crawford's car. Also involved is 74 Dana Stahl, but fortunately Crawford climbs out okay. Look where it drove the left front wheel of the number 20 Engelbright's car. Just a bit of a uh, fire there under the right front corner of the 20 car. Jim Engelbright, but I don't know what it is. Just hot metal, though. It's not flame enough. Look at buddy. The right side is gone from Rick Crawford's car. Boy, both of those guys were really fortunate. It sounded like a half a stick of dynamite went off. Watch this. Well, Crawford's coming through there. He turned it down. The 20 car comes right off the wall. The 20 car had gotten into the wall and come back across the racetrack and right into Crawford. See, Crawford, he sees the problem here. He's trying to turn down. Oh, wow. Couldn't get away. Ernie Cope was right underneath him. You can see where he hit the wall there and come straight across the racetrack. A Very violent sound. Grinding crash. And there is Rick Crawford. He is okay, but see how displeased he is over the fate of his race car. Long way to come from Alabama. Bring that car home in this many pieces. Let's show you what Rick saw. Watch and listen. It's over that soon. Mm. The good part is these cars are built so strong that uh, they give away a little bit on the right side, but the car basically around the driver stayed intact. Engelbright also out of his car and okay, but two badly damaged race cars will go on the rollback back to the pit area. A not so happy new year for these two drivers, but we'll be right back to finish off winter heats. <laughs> 